Welcome everybody to Ben's Millions uh, channel. Today we're going to be opening up a box of Ravnica Guilds Pact Level 3 Lion. Um, we're going to do that and I just wanted to introduce myself again. My name is Ben with Ben Sold Time Walk for a Buck. Uh, I just have a little interesting box to open up. Hopefully we get some good cards today. Uh, we shall see. This is kind of a uh, introduction video. I've been playing Magic for 25 years now. 24 years. I know it just came out 25 years ago. It's just the blink of an eye. Um, I'm going to get the box. We're going to set up and we're hopefully going to open up some good cards. Uh, there's no guarantee. We're just doing one box. And it should be interesting though. Uh, let me grab the box. And uh, we'll get started. All right. Thanks for watching. There it is. It's a flying box. Here we go. There we go. What is that guy over there doing? I don't know. Okay. There's the box. And let's get set up here. Let me turn the TV down. This guy, it's a, it's a magic guy. Okay, let's go back there. This box did not cost me $109.99, but it was pretty close from my local, local, local game store. And they are a little more expensive. A little more expensive from your local game store. So let me get a cutter. And let's get started. I actually have a guest that I want to bring on a little bit later um, to the box opening. It's my son, Mace the Ace. And that should be interesting. If you guys have any younger children, they might actually enjoy it. All right, let's crack this. Bad girl open. I say bad girl, not bad boy, because look at that. Look at that. Who is that? Some kind of weird Gorgon lady. What we're look, really looking for today is some Shocklands. Um, and I guess her or Vral and the Phoenix is very important. So I heard from a friend's friend from Sesame Street. Uh, Rick and Morty that the left side of the box this is the left side is more um, value laden I don't know if that's true or if that even is proper English but I am from America and uh, we'll see I'm going to put the left side over to the left and that'll be interesting to see if these guys are a little bit more rare and the other one. Let me grab a play mat so this looks a little bit more professional. There we go. Something I got at Grand Prix Sacramento and I want to see if the left side is more valuable in this box. Um, it's a very small sample size. It doesn't really represent anything, but it'll just be interesting to see. And uh, you guys can follow along here. All right, here we go. Pack number one is Ral Zarek. Kinda looks like he needs a haircut. I'm not sure if he was like up all night doing some kind of magic stuff. Like, not Magic the Gathering, but casting spells that involved hairspray and not getting a lot of sleep. We got Torch Goblin, Haunted Witness, Memorist, Vicious Rumors, Bonds, Piston, Fist Cyclops, Hammer Dropper. All right, Uncommons. Champion, True Fire Captain. That card was amazing in uh, Ravnica Draft. So is this. And first one, Deafening Clarion. I like it. 
that's a buck or two right there. Put that to the side. Make a little couple piles for everything. Uh, it's interesting how you get a guild gate in every pack. So you get a land that kind of looks like a uh, what are they called? The, not the fetch lands, but the shock lands. And you hope a lot every single pack that it's a shock land foil, but it really never is. All right. We have Cosmetic Wave, Cosmotronic Wave. That's kind of like a, I don't know, an interesting name for things. Bodyguard, Vapor Spore Worm, Ugly Old Burglar Rats. Get out of here, Burglar Rats. Oh, but I want to take all your possessions. No, just discard a card. Okay, yes. Can I also cook your dinner? What? Ratatouille? I don't know. All right. Bunch of commons, and we got an affectionate Indrick, very powerful card in draft. Invert, invent, swath cutter giant, and citywide bust. You're under arrest, big fatty. It's time to go to the jailer's jail. Jail. All right, we got an elf knight. That is pretty cool looking. He's not just an elf. He's not just a knight. He's an elf knight. All right, so, so far the left side hasn't been that great. A couple dollar or twos. But maybe we'll hit a mythic sometime soon. This video's going. Taking longer than I thought here. So we're going to skip through the commons. We will smell them. Ah, this ink smells pretty darn good. And I think this is the new Japanese ink, but it still smells good. And we got Thief of Sanity. I like it. Stupid guild gate. Wait, is that a... No, that's not a freaking dual land. Alright, let's try the middle. The middle elf lady. Weird looking elf lady. Where did your eyeballs go? Really? Did you sell them at the swap meet? Is this a swap meet for elves and eyeballs? I don't know. Bunch of commons. That one's a good one. It's uncommons. Uncommon. Uncommon. And fine finality is a rare. Two cards from your graveyard to your hand. Put some counters on things and kill things. That, I think that card has a little potential. Um, maybe not in standard, but it's not bad. I know someone was saying all the split cards are horrible, but honestly, with split cards, it's just kind of hard to determine their value exactly. So we'll see. I don't actually know the exact price of that one. Leapfrog, remember that game we all played when we were kids? Yeah, that was fun. And Goblin Locksmith. This guy's uh, flavor text is awesome. He's got more finesse than most goblins. He smashes windows with his fist rather than his forehead. Arrestor Polgar. Skip the comments. Glaive of the Guild Pack. That's another fancy word for sword. Sprouting Renewal, Selective Blah Blah, and a Hatchery Spider. That's not a very good rare. Alright, come on left side, don't fail us now. The left side of the guilds of Ravnica. We got a Luxodon Restorer. Skip those commons like Rudy says. Life's too short to look at commons. So, those are our uncommon here. Oh, a watery grave. Yes. And a foil. That's a beautiful card right there. If I ever died in a watery grave, it would be right there. Right there. With that little ghost losing shadow. Is. Oh, thank you. That's good. Eight or nine bucks. Deadly visit. Store Tugger Creature, cost way too much, but it could be okay, I guess. Filler, 
in a some kind of deck. There's a bird illusion. Is that a bird I hear? No, that's just your imagination. But it's a freaking blue bird. No, oh, I'm just imagination. So that, the left side was good. We got the watery grave. I do like that very much. All right, one more pack. Then uh, I'm going to take a quick break. And a little bit later, we'll have my son on. He's a great, great kid. Beacon Bolt. Demolition. Status statue. Oh, Knight of Autumn. Yes. That is a four or five dollar card. Uh, she's playing modern and it's just an excellent card. I guess it's better than Kitchen Finks or about the same. And I think that's why Kitchen Finks isn't really as valuable as it was. And also it got reprinted. Uh, Kitchen Finks did in the new Ultimate Masters. Ultimate, ultimate, ultimate. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Thanks for watching.